The Kraft Food Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers and importers of the world's favorite cheese, now brings you a triumph of cheese making. It's Kraft Natural Swiss Cheese, sliced and sealed by Kraft for your convenience. Natural Swiss Cheese is the kind with the holes. Try Kraft Natural Swiss soon. We're sure this new addition to the Kraft family of quality foods will become one of your all-time favorites. Well, I see Mr. Gillsleeve coming down the street on his way home from the office. He'll be hungry as usual, and Bertie's going to have everything he likes for dinner. You know why? It's not long till Christmas. <laughs> I hope Mr. Gillsleeve notices the holly wreath I put on the door. Hello, Bertie. Evening, Mr. Gillsleeve. Say, that's a nice wreath you've got on the door. Looks real Christmassy. Thank you, sir. Glad you noticed it. Well, I couldn't miss it with the arrow pointing to it. No, sir. I put up the arrow, Unc. Oh, hello, Leroy. Hi. I just wanted everybody around here to know Christmas is coming. Yeah, I'm well aware of it, my boy. Oh, here, let me take your hat and coat. Well... Leroy, you take his hat and I'll take his coat. Okay. Such service. Yes, sir. And I'll brush it off before I hang it up. <laughs> Unc, you need a shine. Here, let me brush off your shoes. If you're so anxious, I'll take them off and you can give them a real shine. Anything you say, Unc. I'll run up and get your house slippers, Mr. Gilsey. Don't trouble yourself, Bertie. No trouble at all. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Bertie can't wait for Santa Claus to come and unload his sleigh. Hey! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here's the evening paper, Unc. You can read it while I'm shining your shoes. Yeah, thank you. There are some wonderful gift suggestions in the paper this evening. Maybe I shouldn't read it. I'll just sit here and read the handwriting on the wall. Uh, have you written your letter to Santa yet, Unc? Mention anything you want within reason. What's within reason? A dollar? We want everybody to have just what they want around here, you know. Yes. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Bertie can't wait for Santa Claus. Come on, Christmas Day. Hey. Bertie, those aren't the words. They're the best ones I can think of. <laughs> Here's your slippers, Mr. Gilsey. Uh, thank you, Bertie. I'm sort of stuck on my letter to Santa, Unc. You? Know? How do you spell new bicycle? If you can't spell it, you're not going to get a bicycle. You're going to get a dictionary. No, oh, for corn's sake. Here's the mail, Mr. Gilsey. Yeah, looks like an invitation to something. Yeah? Who's it from? It says, uh, open house at Floyd's Barbershop. Yeah, Floyd always has a few friends in before he closes for the holidays. And here's the first Christmas card. Yeah, the season's greetings from Judge Hooker. From the judge? He hasn't been around in a long time. You come to think of it, he hasn't. I haven't seen the judge since, uh... Well, let's see. When was the last time I saw the old judge? Anyway, that's the last time you saw him. It... Don't you want to concentrate on the gift ads in the paper now, Unc? You wait a minute, Leroy. There's more to Christmas than gifts. Yeah, I'm just beginning to realize that maybe I've neglected the judge. He's a fine man. Yes, sir, the judge is a fine man. That's one thing you can say for the judge. He's a fine man. You know, I've been so busy with other things. Social obligations. You mean girls? <laughs> well, new friends and all. I guess the judge feels I'm slighting it. Yes, sir, and the judge is a fine man. They don't come no better than Judge Hooker. He's a fine man. Yeah, I've probably hurt an old friend. This card is probably a gentle reminder that he's still around. Yeah, and let's see how he signs it. In the true spirit of friendship and fond recollection, Horace. Good old Horace. I'll bet his glasses fogged up when he wrote that. Yes, sir, that's a fine man. Yeah, you know, I think I'll go out of my way tomorrow to look up Horace. Let him know I haven't forgotten him. Sure. Why don't you take him shopping with you, Unc? Hey, who said I was going shopping? I think Leroy's got something there. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Oh, what a 
conspiracy. And forget to look up the old judge today. Yeah, I might drop over there this evening if I get my Christmas shopping done. Yeah, I wonder if Peavy has anything new. Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you today? Well, I came in to look over your merchandise. <laughs> Don't look over it. Look straight at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to set a new sales record this year. Your business pretty good, is it? I'm here to tell you. How's it with you? Uh, you know how it is in the water business. The season doesn't make much difference. Yeah, I guess it's pretty hard to gift wrap water and sell it for Christmas. <laughs> well, it's never been done, Peavy. Well, you could send it in a plastic bag with a rubber card saying, wishing you a watery Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Peavy. I'll just look around. Yeah. I suppose you've done your Christmas shopping. Yes, I've found a good place where I can buy it wholesale. Where, Peavy? <laughs> Peavy's pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what are you getting Mrs. Peavy this year? Are you just taking something home from the pharmacy? Oh, no. As a matter of fact, Mrs. Peavy and I put a lot of thought into our gifts. You do? I spent a lot of time and money on Mrs. Peavy's this year, and she's going to be very happy. Uh, what are you giving her? A new furnace. <laughs> a furnace? Yeah, I thought that was a hot idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Mrs. Peavy and I like to be practical about our gifts. Uh, what's she giving you? The coal to burn in it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Mr. Gildersleeve, are you getting a two-ton present from anybody? Well, I hope not. I'd rather end up with a lot of Hawaiian sunset neckties like you and the judge always give me. You know, I haven't seen the judge since the last Johnny Boys meeting. You know, I wasn't there that night. Yeah, I haven't seen him in months. Well, I got a Christmas card from him yesterday, Peavy. You don't see him? Yeah. I haven't received mine yet. The judge usually drops it by the pharmacy to save the postage. <laughs> no, P.B., let's not say anything against the judge. No, I'm not saying anything against him. Yeah, you know, I feel a little guilty about losing touch with Horace. I guess I've grown away from him a little bit. Well, you've been busy. Yeah, I've made new friends. I seem to be traveling in another circle. <laughs> you've been going around in circles, all right. <laughs> You're all right, P.B. The point is, I have to watch it. Well, I'm forging ahead. I shouldn't leave old friends like the judge by the wayside. I don't know what the judge is doing these days. Well, I'm going over this evening to make a duty call. Cheer him up. You want to come along, Peavy? No, I have to go home to Mrs. Peavy. Well, she wouldn't care if you stayed out with the boys one night, would she? No, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Christmas spirit is a wonderful thing to have, Leroy. Yeah. yeah. I can see already that one of the greatest joys I'll have this Christmas is brightening the lonely life of old Judge Hooker. Miss Gilsey. Yes, Bertie? You want me to put some hot rolls in the judge's basket? That's a nice thought, Bertie. Yes, sir. Are you taking him food? Chicken fricassee, Leroy. Oh, brother. Well, it's his favorite dish. Well, the judge will like this basket after his old cooking. Yeah, Judge will be glad to see me show up with a basket of goodies. Why don't you dress up like Little Red Riding Hood? <laughs> Leroy, don't jest about a good deed. You should go with me. After all, the judge is your godfather. Well, he's supposed to look after me. I'm not supposed to look after him. <laughs> Leroy. I'm just kidding, Unc. I'd like to see Judge Hooker. We were always pals. I'll go with you. That's the spirit. And you tell the judge if he'd like to have his house cleaned up for the holidays, Bertie will be glad to do it. Oh, I'll tell him, Bertie. I sure feel sorry for the judge living all alone like he does. Yes, yeah, so do I. I should never have given him up for new friends. He probably feels my loss very keenly. Well, the judge is too proud to ever let you know that. Yeah. He'd suffer in silence. No, sir. He wouldn't phone or look you up, poor man. Yeah, he'd suffer in silence and... Go his lonely way. Yes, sir. Just smiling through. <laughs> Poor old judge.
take the basket, Unc. Yeah, I'll take it, Leroy. It was my idea. Okay. Hey, all the judges' lights are on. Well, Horace always did a lot of pacing through the house. I should have been over here a long time ago. Me too. Unc, look, parked in front of the judge's house. An ambulance. I hope he isn't sick. That's no ambulance. That's a long limousine with a chauffeur. Oh, they must be waiting for somebody across the street. Looks like the judge has painted his house. Yeah. New doorbell, too. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, oh, good evening. Hey, a butler. Uh, won't you come in? Uh, does Judge Fooker still live here? Oh, yes, sir. He's expecting you, isn't he? Well... Who's that? Hello, Judge. Well, Gilda and Leroy. Hi, Judge. What a surprise. Yes, it is, in a way. Won't you come in a moment? Oh, is it okay if we do? Leroy, you're always welcome. Don't stand there, Gilda. Come in. Well, only for a moment. Uh, may I take your hat, sir? Uh, no, thank you. I'll just hold it. I'll take care of my old friends, Albert. Yeah, very good, sir. You have a butler now, Horace? Oh, he's from the caterers, Gilda. I have him when I entertain. How about that? Well, I didn't think you had a regular butler. Nor a car and chauffeur? Oh, no, that belongs to one of my guests. I'm having a party, Gilda. Oh, well, then we'd better be on our way. No, not yet. Come into the parlor. I want you to meet one of the early arrivals. My good friend and client, Mr. W. Roxwell Logan. Well... Mr. Logan... This is Mr. Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. Yeah, how do you do, Mr. Logan? How do you do? What did you say your name was? Uh, Gildersleeve. Oh, I thought everyone knew our water commissioner. And this is his nephew, Leroy. How do you do, young man? Hi. Gildy is one of my oldest and dearest friends, W.R. W.R. I suppose I should know you, Commissioner, but I've only recently moved my factory to Summerfield. You, well, I put in the water pipes. You supervised it, I mean. Of course, I know the mayor. We had lunch at the club the other day. You? Know? Hadn't we better go, Unc? You, well, the judge is having a party. Don't hurry, Gildy. You know most of the guests. I'm introducing W.R. to some of our key people. Peavy won't be here, will he? Is he the banker you're expecting, Horace? No, that's Mr. Robbins. Peavy is one of our mutual friends. Peavy won't be here, Gildy. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let's go, Unc. Wait, Gildy. You and Leroy have some hors d'oeuvres. Will you pass them, Albert? Yeah, very good, sir. Oh, boy. Well, I'll have one, thank you. One, Leroy. Hey, caviar, cheese, shrimp, bacon, and sausages. What do you have in the basket, Gildy? Just something I'm taking home to the cat. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. When a man gets hungry for something to eat between meals, he wants that something to be good and hearty, like a nice big sandwich or maybe his favorite cold drink to go with it. Listening, Mom? Well, surprise that man of yours with Kraft Natural Swiss Cheese for a sandwich that's not only hearty, but exceptionally good tasting. This cheese with the holes comes without rind, and it's sliced and sealed by Kraft in convenient half-pound packages. What's more, Kraft Natural Swiss has that special heart-of-the-cheese goodness all through it. You see, in the old-fashioned wheels of Natural Swiss, the cheese at the center or heart of the wheel was better tasting and finer textured than the cheese at the outside edges. But as a result of a special process developed by Kraft, this natural Swiss has heart of the cheese goodness in every single bite. Perfect nut-sweet flavor, fine, tender texture. For your convenience, Kraft Natural Swiss comes without rind. It's sliced and sealed by Kraft, sealed airtight in handy half-pound packages. You'll want this delicious natural Swiss cheese on hand for all kinds of sandwiches. Kraft Natural Swiss is wonderful with different kinds of crackers, too. And for a delightful change some night, serve this good cheese with your favorite fruit for dessert. Tomorrow, get Kraft Natural Swiss cheese with heart of the cheese goodness all through for your eating pleasure and sliced and sealed by Kraft for your convenience. <laughs> Well, 
Well, let's get back to my uncle, the great Gildersleeve. He couldn't get over the shock when he took lonely old Judge Hooker chicken fricassee and found him eating caviar. The judge was about as lonely as a Santa Claus in a toy department full of kids. I couldn't wait to get down to Mr. Peavy's. Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you? Peavy, I saw Judge Hooker last night. And you can't imagine the change that's come over the old goat. Did he shave off his ten whiskers? <laughs> No, he just cut off his friends. You don't say. When I went over there, guess who answered the door? Judge Hooker? A butler. He even looked English. My, my. The judge was giving a dinner party. Did he invite you in? For one hors d'oeuvre. That doesn't sound like the judge. Horace thinks he's flying pretty high, Petey. Yeah, I shouldn't have bothered to look him up again. Yeah, I take it you haven't been missed. Yeah, I'll say not. He's hobnobbing with big wigs. Hmm. Who would have thought it? He told me he's spending his time with key people. And that doesn't include me, the water commissioner. Well, the only thing you have a key to is your pump house. <laughs> it wouldn't have hurt the judge to invite me to his party. Mr. Gildersleeve, you eat a lot of hors d'oeuvres when you get the chance. It, he doesn't have to be ashamed of me in front of his big shot pals. You know, the judge never high-hatted me. Oh? Have you ever met W. Wa Roxwell Logan, the shoe manufacturer? Yes, I sold him some march preservers last week. Oh. <laughs> You're just sticking up for the judge. Well, I have no reason to run him down. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm dropping him. Mm, don't tell me. Tell him. Right? Here he comes. You know, I don't want him to see me. I'm going to hide behind the counter. Get rid of him in a hurry. Hello, Peavy. Well, hello, Judge. How's my old friend? Very well, thank you. Old friend. I had your Christmas card ready for several days, but I wanted to see you personally, so I thought I'd drop it by. What a way to save three cents. Well, and that was very thoughtful of you, Judge. You may open it and read it while I'm here. Very well. Yeah, I can't stay wedged under this counter long. Let's see what we have here. In the true spirit of friendship and fond recollection, Horace. That's exactly what he wrote to me. Yeah, that's very nice, Judge. Not at all. I've missed seeing you, Peavy. And I hate to dash today, but I imagine you're busy, too. Yeah, good. He's going. No, I have anything to do. And if you'd care to stay and chew the fat for a little while... And... I'd be delighted. Zeke. I guess you haven't seen anything of Mr. Gildersleeve lately, have you, Judge? Oh, I meant to tell you, Peavy. Gildy dropped by the house last night. He did? I haven't gotten around to seeing Gildy for some time, and he, he looked a little friendless. Oop. Is that a fact? Did you... Uh... Notice anything else about him? Well, he seemed to be ill at ease. I'm afraid that he feels I've slighted him. Now, just a minute, Judge. <laughs> is that you, Gilda? Yes, it is. Or is it a bull in a china shop? <laughs> What's this about slighting me? Well, I felt that... I'll we... have you know I'm the one who's slighting you. Gilda, I'm surprised at you. Well, I'm surprised at you, too. Don't consider me a key man in Summerfield, huh? If you're upset because I didn't invite you to my party, old friend... Don't old friend me. I might remind you that I haven't received any engraved invitations to your house. You won't either. I won't expect it. Now, gentlemen... Looking back, I can see where you've avoided me. Well, looking ahead, you can see where I'll keep on doing. <laughs> don't you speak to me like that. Uh, uh, will you gentlemen step back away from the showcases? I don't intend to speak to you at all. You stuck-up old goat. Gilda. Social climber. Water peddler. Judge, don't start something. You started it, didn't he, Peavy? Now, don't get me in this. I'm just your friendly neighborhood dragon. You didn't eat much, Mr. Gilsey. Didn't you enjoy your dinner? There's nothing wrong with your fine dinner, Bertie. Pass Unk's dessert to me, Bertie. Leroy, you've eaten enough. Hands off. Well, gosh, what did I do? And here I've been trying to stay out of trouble till after Christmas. That's right, Leroy. Now, why don't we all just try to have the Christmas spirit? Uh, the judge has destroyed the Christmas spirit in me. You mean no bike? Well, I have a notion not even to buy a tree. Well, you hardly ever do. Judge Hooker usually brings one over. He better not show up with one this year. I'll chase him right up it. The judge is all right, Unc. I thought he was real nice to us the other night. Leroy, stop defending Judge Hooker in my presence. Oh, 
Oh, gosh. Leroy. I always considered the judge a fine man. Bertie? Yes, sir. He's a turncoat friend, a no-good lawyer, and a do-nothing judge. Yes, sir. There's a fine man. <laughs> oh, my God. You want to see me, Leroy? Uh, yeah, Mr. Peavy. I want to talk to you about Unc. Okay, well. Now, you wouldn't believe this, but Unc and the judge aren't speaking to each other. No, I believe it. And that's not all. Unc says he won't even allow the judge on the property this Christmas. You don't say. Gosh, it won't seem like Christmas without the judge coming around. Mm, he has been a regular, visit, a regular at your house, hasn't he? Yeah. Ever since I was a little kid... One year, he was even Santa Claus. The judge? He was a skinny one, but he was the best we had. (laughs) On Christmas Day, we'd all gather around the piano and sing. And I don't think you'll miss the judge there. Well, I will. And so will Unc. He just won't admit it. Men can be pretty stubborn at times, Leroy. But Unc needs his friends. He's no good without them. He's grouchy and touchy as an old bear. No, I hate to see a couple of jolly boys at odds during the holidays. I, you run along, Leroy, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Mister Peavy. And you better take this candy bar; it might make you feel better. Thanks. And Mister Peavy. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Leroy. Well, I said I was gonna keep out of this thing, but here goes. I... I want them to get it together again, but I don't want them together in my pharmacy. Gildersleeve speaking. Mr. Gildersleeve, this is Mr. Peavy. Oh, hello, Peavy. I'm calling to let you know there's a special Jolly Boys meeting tonight. Well, I won't be there. As long as the judge is a member, I'm out. Well, that's why the meeting. We're going to drum the old goat out of the club. What? Took me a while to realize how right you are about the judge. Peavy, what's the judge going to say about this? Mr. Gildersleeve, all the jolly boys won't be there. Uh, You're pretty cagey, Peavy. That's what I say. Can I count on you? Well, if you think it's the thing to do, before Christmas. I'm here to tell you. Like you say, he's a stuck-up turncoat. Be there at 8 o'clock. All right, Peavy. I guess he's asked for this. Anybody that's asked for it's going to get it. Goodbye, Peavy. Goodbye. This might turn out to be fun. <laughs> Judge Hooker speaking. Uh, Judge, this is Mr. Peavy. Well, hello, Peavy. I thought you might like to attend a special Jolly Boys meeting tonight. I can't make it. I'd rather not see Gildy. Judge, all the members won't be there. Oh? We can do without a certain big blowhard. Catch on, Judge? Yes, I do. (laughs) I've been thinking over some of the things you said about a certain city official, and perhaps we should just tell him to go peddle his water. You mean blackball, Gilder? Well, do you have any other suggestions for getting rid of him that are legal? Well, it is the Yuletide season. I don't get sentimental, Judge. Are you coming to the meeting or not? I'll be there. There's a light on upstairs. Some of the jolly boys are here already. I don't hear any singing. Well, when you're blackballing somebody, it's no time to sing. Is that you, Peavy? Uh Uh-oh, something went haywire. Who is it? Nosy old judge. You can't even keep him away from the meeting. You're throwing him out of. Gildy, what are you doing here? You're the one who isn't supposed to be here, Hooker. Peavy told me confidentially that you wouldn't be here or I wouldn't have come. Well, I wouldn't be here if I'd known you were going to be here. I've been double-crossed. As far as I'm concerned, the meeting is over. I don't think there's going to be a meeting or some of the fellows would be here. There's something strange going on because here's a Christmas package addressed to you and me. Oh? And we're sworn enemies. I'll say we are. You think we should open it? I'll open it. My name's on the card first. Pushy, you're too late, Judge. Gildy. Say, a pair of boxing gloves. Two pair. Oh, for, 
Here's a note from Peavy. What does he say? He says, fellow jolly boys, instead of blackballing each other, give each other black eyes. Shake hands and come out fighting. Well, of all the... <laughs> Good old Peavy. Yeah. Let's stop the fighting and just shake hands, Judge. I'm so happy I could just burst into song. Oh, how I've missed you. Hey, judge. Dear old pal. Oh, judge, can we just shake hands and be friends? The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. There's a delicious treat in store for you folks who go for that good cheese with the holes, natural Swiss cheese. This treat is Kraft natural Swiss cheese. Because of a special process developed by Kraft, this natural Swiss has heart of the cheese goodness in every bite and no rind. Kraft natural Swiss is sliced and sealed airtight in half pound packages. Enjoy this fine tasting pale golden cheese often in all kinds of snacks and sandwiches. Tomorrow, get Kraft Natural Swiss Cheese. Finished the rest of your Christmas cards yet, Unc? Well, all but putting on the Christmas seals, Leroy. As a matter of fact, you might help me with that. Oh, sure. Hey, you've got twice as many seals this year. Well, buying Christmas seals is one of the most important things you can do at Christmas. Yeah? yeah? By buying Christmas seals, you're helping the National Tuberculosis Association to help a lot of people. Yeah, I know. I got a motto for them. You have? Yeah. A Christmas seal is a good deal. This is very good, my boy. Uh, Unc, by the way, did you write a lot of flowery stuff on your cards like Judge Hooker? Yeah, of course not, Leroy. Well, how about this one to Miss Henshaw? Young man. The very best Christmas present I know is to catch you under the mistletoe. Leroy. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman and is an NBC Radio Network production. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Earl Ross, Lillian Randolph, Paul Maxey, Dick Ryan, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next week and every week for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. What goes into your favorite sandwich? Maybe it's roast beef or savory baked ham. Whatever your favorite, the perfect meat sandwich needs the perfect mustard. Kraft prepared mustard. For when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. You can take your choice of two kinds of Kraft mustard. Mild Kraft mustard is smooth and delicately spiced. Or if you like your mustard with extra pep, try Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Keep them both on hand and keep everyone in the family happy. Next time, get Kraft prepared mustard. The holiday season from Christmas to New Year's is an especially deadly period so far as traffic accidents are concerned. The toll of traffic fatalities rises sharply every year during this period. Please take extra precautions in walking and driving. Don't let death take your holiday. Now play You Bet Your Life with Groucho on the NBC radio network.